Hi everyone, Elaine here um, from Peace Love Scrap, and I am going to share with you my new fun toy, which is the Canon Selfie CP910. I'm sure a million, million of you guys have heard about it, but I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. I'm going to show you how to use it wirelessly, as well as um, with a USB card. So um, let's get started. First, I'm just going to show you what comes with the uh, Selfie. You get the printer itself. You get the holder that holds um, your photo paper. And to put your photo paper in here, you're just gonna open this lid, open the second lid. You want your paper inside, you want it glossy side up. Then you're gonna close it and leave this flap open and it just kind of pushes right in here with one little click. Also comes with the, uh, the power cord. But what's nice about the Canon uh, Selfie is you can also use it with batteries. It's battery operated, which is nice if you want to take it with you somewhere and print pictures up for people if you're at a party or something like that. It comes with a cartridge with enough ink on it for five photos and paper for five photos. Um, it's not a lot. It's enough to get you started and to just kind of test the waters with the machine but I got the refill pack. It comes with 108 sheets and enough ink for the 108 sheets. And I bought this printer on Amazon using my Prime. So I bought it for, I think I paid $89 for the printer and I paid $28 for the refill pack. So I thought I got a pretty good deal on it and it shipped, I had it within a day, day and a half, I had it delivered to my house. So I will show you real quick what, the, what an ink cartridge looks like because it is a little bit different than your typical inkjet or laser jet type printer. This uses something called um, sublimation printing, I believe, which it just uses three colors to make your photo. And each cartridge, it will tell you here on the bottom, sorry, I don't know if you can see it, but it, this cartridge is enough for 36 prints and it's exact. I mean, if this cartridge says 36 prints, it's gonna make 36 prints. So in this box, it comes with enough ink to make 108 photos as well as the paper to do so. Um, it also comes with a CD for your computer because you can print wirelessly from your uh, smartphone as well as an iPod or an iPad. You can print with a USB. There's a USB port right here. And you can also print with an SD card right there. And if I'm not mistaken, you can pr print directly from your camera as well. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Um, all right, so I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. All right, let's get started. I am going to show you first how you would print wires wirelessly right from your smartphone. Um, what you will need is obviously your phone and... Um, you're going to want to download two apps. The first app you can download is the Canon IEPP app, and then you're going to want to download some sort of photo collage app. Now, uh, there are a million photo collage apps. It's really your preference on which one that you enjoy using. All of them that I have on my phone have been a free app, and those work perfectly. So you don't have to spend any money uh, on additional apps if you choose not to. And obviously the Canon app is free as well. So I have two photo collage apps. One is called Photo Collage and the other one's called Pick Stitch. if you see it down, down here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is to get started is I have my printer on and prior to this, the part that you guys aren't seeing is the part that I did um, in following in following the directions in the book on how to um, make sure that you have this wirelessly capable, you know, it's wireless capable and set up to my phone. I know, I don't know how to explain that, but it's, um, I had to download the Canon uh, selfie to my phone so I can use it wirelessly. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into the photo collage. And um, I apologize for my phone, it runs a little bit slow because I old and it has a ton of pictures and things like that on it. Plus I have over 5,000 emails that I need to delete. <laughs> okay, so here's your photo collage, your typical photo collage app. You go through here, you can pick which grid that you want to do. I typically 
because of what I use my photos for, mostly scrapbooking. I'm gonna click this one right here so I can have two photos side by side on one four by six sheet of paper. And it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna click on the plus sign and it's gonna open me up into my photo stream. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna pick the photo that I want printed. I am going to uh, pick one of my son here. Just gonna tap on it and it shows up in here. Now you can move it around in here so that it's right where you want it. Click on the second side, go back into your camera roll and I'm going to pick this image of my son. Move it to where you want it. Now what um, you really need to remember is that you're gonna wanna go into whatever area it has so that you can go in and change the ratio on it. I'm also gonna change this because I don't want my pictures to have any borders. But you wanna change the ratio so that it fits on the photo paper correctly. And with this one, I'm gonna do a four by three ratio. So they're gonna come out like these little rectangles here. When you're done, you're just gonna hit the check mark. And I'm going to hit maximum. That's basically just gonna give me the best possible resolution for my photos. And now, like I said, each app is slightly different, but for the most part, you're going to want to do the same thing. I'm going to save it to my photo album. Oh, you got to love free apps, and they have all those ads. Okay, um, it's been saved now to my album. Now, um, the part that you have to remember is now you're going to have to go to your settings. And right now, I have it hooked up wirelessly to my home Wi-Fi, but you're going to need to change it to the Canon Wi-Fi, and that will be your CP910. So I'm gonna click on that. And when the check mark appears, you know now that it's hooked up wirelessly to your printer. So I'm gonna click out of that. Now I'm gonna open up. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but it's really easy and it goes by really fast. I'm just, it's slower because I'm talking you guys through it. You're gonna click on the Canon app. and um, you're gonna have the option of going into your photo album, which is where I just saved the print from um, my photo collage app. I'm gonna click on it. It opened it up. I'm gonna select it. Now if you see up here, there's a little number one. That means it's selected my picture. And now I'm gonna hit print. And if you see here, my screen, it says that it's busy. That means it's um, connecting between my phone and the printer. And it usually just takes a couple seconds here. This printer has been so much fun. And I love that I can print my Instagram pictures from here as well, which is really nice. You're gonna wanna make sure you have room in the back because the printer paper does come out of the back. So it goes in the first time and it covers it in the yellow ink as you can see here. It's gonna go back in. It's gonna take it back in again. It's gonna cover it in the magenta ink. It's gonna go back in. Now it's gonna cover it in the blue ink. And when it's finished with the blue ink, it's gonna cover it in a clear laminate so that your picture is waterproof and it has the uh, longevity of 100 plus years. So it's really a nice feature. When it comes out, it's gonna be completely dry. You can pick it up right away. You're not gonna smudge it or anything. So as you see here, it takes about 30 seconds to print a photo. And these photos, they turn out absolutely beautifully. Um, both of these pictures were taken with my Instagram, so it's not the quality of the printer as much as it is the quality of the person taking the picture. <laughs> Me <laughs> doesn't do that great of a job. And you know, both of these, ne neither of these photos have um, filters on them. But as you see here, here's a picture. And then you just tear off the perforated edge here. And there you have it. But I told you, I'm like, it's, it's dry. It's instantly dry. And um, you can even dump this picture in a bowl of water and take it out five minutes later and nothing's gonna have happened to it. So it's really, really nice. I'll just show you a couple of other pictures I printed. I printed this one. Now, as you see here um, on this little boy's face here, um, 
it's scratched. And it's scratched because when it was coming out of the printer, it hit something I had sitting on my desk because I didn't have enough room. I didn't have enough room back here for the picture to fully come out and get pushed back in and come out and so forth. So that was my fault. And, um, but it's a good lesson to learn. But I mean, you can see this picture it turned out absolutely beautiful. And that's a full four by six photo. And, um, hold on, I'm gonna try and find the rest of the pictures that I took. They should have been sitting right here. All right, I'll just show you a couple more here. I have this photo right here um, that my husband took at a fight. Um, now, I, the mistake that I made is I didn't have the ratio correct, so I cut off this guy's head. But you can see, though, the, the quality of this black and white photo is fantastic. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to print using uh, a USB card. Now, I just showed you how to print wirelessly, but now I'm going to show you how to use the USB. So you're going to push your card or your USB into the side where it fits. And up comes your screen. And um, if you can see, I will try zooming in here. Um, oops, that's not working. Okay. I'm zooming in here and you can see that this is the screen has all the pictures on here. Okay. Um, and... <clears throat> Okay, so here is a picture that's on my card. Um, you can scroll through and find the picture, whatever picture that you want to use and that you want to print up. So I'm just going to print this, we'll print this picture here of my kids. Now you have the option of cropping it if you like, which is nice. You just hit the, um, the edit button and then you hit OK for cropping and the screen comes up and you can move it, you know, so however you want to crop it. I'm not going to crop this picture, so I'm just going to go back. And another feature is you hit the menu button, scroll down to change settings, hit OK. You can choose whether or not to have your picture printed borderless or bordered with a white border. I'm going to go with borderless. Then the next thing is you're going to pick your page layout. So if you want just one photo, you're going to click one up. But you have the option of doing two photos on one 4x6, four, four, four photos, eight photos on one four by six or an index um, because I, or you can do a shuffle and I guess it just mixes up a whole bunch of different pictures in different sizes. I haven't tried that feature yet. So we're just gonna go and do one up and we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go down and there's an image optimizer. I have that on. You can change the brightness. You can um, change the smooth skin from on or off. I'm gonna put on because I want the skin to be smooth. Um, you can change the colors to vivid, neutral, um, positive film, sepia, black and white, or, or off. You can have the red eye on or off to correct red eye. You can have the date printed directly on your photo if you'd like. Um, I'm choosing not to, so I'm not going to put the date in there. Um, auto power down I have on so that if I happen to walk away, it will shut it off for me and then the language that you choose to do it in. Now I'm going to go back and I'm back to my photo and I am going to real quickly plug in my video camera because it's going to die and I don't want to redo this video. So give me one second. That's the one thing about my new video camera is it does not last. I've only been recording for 14 minutes and it's already dying. So okay, so now I'm back here. I have everything the way I want it. I'm going to say I want one copy. You see here that it's going to print one picture. Now this is a, 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 a probably a terrible picture and it's not cropped very nicely, but it's just the point. I wanted to talk you through it. So I'm going to print my picture. I don't know what it's thinking, apparently. Oh, 
now it's printing and again like I said you can use your SD card if you'd like here I'll zoom back out so you can see it printing This printer has been fantastic. I mean, honestly, I've had it for a couple days and I absolutely love it. Now, I took this picture with my iPhone. That picture had then been down downloaded onto my computer. So you can see here that when, when it's done, I'll show you my half of the picture is blurry, but that's not because of the printer. That's because of me. <laughs> but the rest of the picture is clear and turned out beautifully. And you can see here too that it fixed my daughter's red eye. Okay, so here's the photo. I mean, you can see here my son is pretty blurry, but um, my daughter turned out really well. And again, you just cut off the perforated edges like that, and you've got your picture. So what's nice, again, like I said, is it prints um, uh, in your Instagram photos, and um, you can do all these different sizes with it and everything. So uh, for the price for 89 bucks, you cannot beat it. It's a great tool to have on hand. Uh, I don't think that I would print like our vacation to Disney on here with when I had 600 photos. I don't think that's cost effective that way. That's more or less a trip to Sam's Club for photo developing those. But uh, this is perfect for those photos that you just want to print real quick and share with someone right there on the spot or print and use for your scrapbook pages. It ends up being about 30 cents a print when you print one 4 by 6 photo. So, I don't know. I don't think it's um, that expensive. I think that this printer well pays for itself. It's it's a great, great tool to have on hand. Hopefully I've um, showed you guys uh, uh, enough on at least it can get you started in using it if you're interested. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to try and answer them. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my review. I give it a two thumbs up. Boop! Two thumbs up. Make sure you get one. They're on sale right now on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's no, no tax. I don't know, I don't think I paid tax, but it's definitely free shipping and you get it like the next day. How can you pass that up? So, all right, you guys, enjoy and uh, hopefully you get started on your selfie. Bye.